In this video, I am going to introduce you to Streaming LLM. Streaming LLM is a new technique that enables you to allow large language models to handle infinite text input without a loss in accuracy. By identifying key tokens to guide model decisions and caching recent tokens, Streaming LLM provides a massive improvement in speed, offering up to 22 times faster infants. You can read more detail in this abstract, which is shown on your screen, and I'll drop the link to this paper in video's description too. If you want to read the whole paper, then you can click on this download PDF on the right and download and read it. Let me also show you their GitHub repo, which is quite cool. Not only it gives you the abstract, and but also a quick demo to see how it looks like without streaming LLM and then with streaming LLM. In very simple words, the whole point of this is that if you want to maintain the long history in your AI chatbots, then you can stream LLMs. And if you want to input long text or huge amount of documents into your LLMs, then you can use this streaming LLM. Because normally what happens is when you input huge amount of data to chatbots or to the text generation models, then you often receive out of memory errors. This is the problem which the streaming LLM is trying to resolve. Not only you can build chatbots that remember past interactions and reference them contextually with the help of this streaming LLM. And it will be very beneficial with this streaming LLM to summarize large reports or documents spanning thousands of pages with ease. The way it works is that it handles endless text without dropping accuracy because it uses special tokens to guide the model's reasoning. It also maintains the memory of recent conversations for a better context. Okay, now let me show you how you can install it locally and use it. I'll be using Amazon Linux 2 EC2 instance and the instance in AWS which I'm using is G4DN 2x large which has one GPU and more than 32 gig of memory. This is this this a uh, disk space this model takes is around 30 gig so make sure that you have a beefy system. This is my um, Amazon Linux 2 instance which I'm using in AWS SageMaker notebook. The first step we need to do is to clone this repo. So go at the top, grab this link, go back to your Linux instance and then do git clone and then this repo. Press enter and it should clone this locally for you. That's done. Now let's go into this directory, just type streaming dash LLM because if you look at the right, this is uh, what it has downloaded. So streaming LLM, maybe I'll also put this at the start. Quickly check if you are in the right directory. You no, not yet, so maybe with this without the exclamation mark. Okay, now we are in the correct directory. Let's check the contents. We have it. Okay, in the next step, we need to download and install some of the prerequisites. So let's run it pip install torch torch vn and torch audio. Should not take too long. It is still running as shown by the static. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay, that's done. We also need to install a few more prerequisites as, as such as transformers, accelerate and stuff. Let's wait for it to finish. These prerequisites are done. In the next step, we need to run the setup file. Let me show you this one, setup.py, which we which is in the repo which we have just cloned for stream dash streaming dash LLM. Now let's run this. Put an exclamation mark in front of it. Python setup. Dot by. It might give you a couple of warnings, but you can ignore them. That's done, which is good. Now in the next step, all we need to do is to download this model and run it with streaming option. 
and this is the command to do it. Let's run it. Hopefully, it won't give us any error. And there are three shards of it, as um, I believe there are three shards of it, and it will download. And each shard is around nine gig. So <clears throat> in total, it is around I would say twenty-eight to thirty gig. So make sure that on your local system, you have that much disk space. And we are primarily running one of the examples. Let's wait for it to finish. So you can see that it is loading the model Vicuna 13 billion. And these are all the shards it is downloading at the moment. So one of three, and this shard is around 10 gig. And I believe the other two shards are of similar size. Let's wait for it to finish. As you can see that it is downloading the last shard now, the third of three. So let's wait for it to finish. It has finished downloading them. And now it is consolidating them. And now let's see this example runs or not. And it has taken me around, uh, I would say 15 minutes to download all of these shards. So it depends upon your bandwidth. It is now loading checkpoint shard that's done. And now you can see that it is running and um, it is loading data from that uh, benchmark. And then it is uh, ready for the user and assistant chat. So this is how you can install it on your local system and then start chatting with it. I showed you this demo for Amazon Linux too. So, but you can use any Linux flavor to do this. And you can also use a git bash in Windows and similar commands in the Mac if you want to. So this is it guys. If you are facing any issues running it or if you want, um, if you're already using it, please share your experience. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.